क्लास इलेवेंथ केमिस्ट्री यूनिट एट रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पैराडॉक्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शनल ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस पैराडॉक्स हिंदी इट इज नॉन एज विरोधाभास वी कैन से ए पैराडॉक्स इज अ स्टेटमेंट इन विच इट सीम्स दैट इफ वन पार्ट ऑफ इट इज ट्रू द अदर पार्ट ऑफ इट कैन नॉट बी ट्रू then how can we apply this paradox in oxidation number let us see sometimes we come across with certain compounds in which the oxidation number of a particular element in the compound is in fraction for example c3o2 carbon suboxide oxidation number of carbon is 4 by 3 as per the rules we have discussed okay Br3O8 tri-bromo-octoxide uh, oxidation number of bromine is 16 by 3. Na2S4O6 sodium tetrathionate oxidation number of sulfur is 2.5. The idea of fractional oxidation number is unconvincing to us because electrons are never shared transferred in fraction. Actually, this fractional oxidation state is the average oxidation state of the element under examination, and the structural parameters reveal that the element for whom fractional oxidation state is realized is present in different oxidation states. Once again, see carbon suboxide. The structure of this like this. In this case, the oxidation number of middle carbon is zero. and the oxidation numbers of the side carbon atoms is plus 2 okay each carbon atom has different oxidation number if we take the average of this that is 2 plus 0 plus 2 divided by 3 it will come 4 by 3 okay now question arises how this oxidation state of this carbon is zero okay let us see its lewis structure this is carbon the carbon this is carbon this is oxygen and this is oxygen each carbon has four electron okay like this and when double bond is there it means two pair of electrons are shared now if we apply this formula that is oxidation number is equal to number of valence electron in free atom minus number of electrons as per electronegativity consideration so for middle carbon atom the number of valence electron four Minus now number of electrons as per electronegativity consideration. Just see these four electrons between these two carbon atoms are equally distributed. So we can say two electrons. These two electrons will be counted with this carbon, and these two electrons will be counted with this carbon. So as per the electronegativity consideration, the number of electron with this middle carbon atom is again four. So oxidation number of middle carbon atom is zero. now come to four side carbon atoms okay now again this is there is a double bond between carbon and oxygen now in this case oxygen is more electronegative okay so these double we can see electrons of these uh, double bond will be counted with the oxygen so with the carbon this no electron for uh, it will be counted from this electron pair in the same way for this carbon no electron is counted with this carbon from this double bond so as per this formula valence electron 4 minus as per the electronegativity consideration the electron with this carbon is only 2 so 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 in the same way for this carbon this is 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 is it clear now in the same way the structure of br3o8 is tri bromo octoxide now in this case the oxidation number of this bromine middle bromine this will be this is plus 4 and for oxidation number of both the side bromine atom is plus 6 if we take the average of this that is 6 plus 4 plus 6 that is 16 divided by 3 this is the average oxidation number but each bromine atom has different oxidation number okay now come to this structure of s4o6 2 minus that is tetrathionate ion now in this case the structure is this okay 
the oxidation number of these two middle sulfur atom is zero oxidation number of this side carbon atom is plus 5 and this side carbon atom is also plus 5 as per the electronegativity concentration now see some more example in which we will take the in which the average oxidation number is different and oxidation number calculated as per the structure is different see cro5 its name is chromium 6 oxide peroxide it has butterfly structure now if you calculate its oxidation number as per the rules so we can say if oxidation number of chromium is x okay plus there is five atoms of oxygen each oxygen each oxygen atom has oxidation number of minus 2 and this is equal to 0 in this way x will come to is equal to 10 but actually structure is this in this case these two oxygen atoms are attached in peroxide form these two are also in peroxide form and as we know in peroxide the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 1 okay so we can say there is one atom this one this is a normal oxidation number minus 2 okay plus there are four oxygen atom and each one has oxidation number of minus 1 and oxidation number of chromium is x then sum of these is equal to 0 then what is the value of x x is equal to 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 so oxidation number of chromium in this cro5 is plus 6 now mixed oxides fe3o4 if you find out the average oxidation number of iron then this will come 8 by 3 but fe3o4 is made up of two oxides feo and fe2o3 okay you can say in this case in feo oxidation number of iron is plus 2 and in fe2o3 oxidation number of each iron is plus 3 okay if we take the average of this it will come 8 by 3 mn3o4 the average oxidation number of mn is 8 by 3 but again it is made up of mno and mn2o3 the oxidation number of manganese in mno is plus 2 in mn2o3 oxidation number of each manganese atom is plus 3 now pb3o4 oxidation state of pb that is average oxidation state of pb in pb3o4 is 8 by 3 but again this is made up of two unit of pbo and one unit of pbo2 in pbo oxidation state of pb is plus 2 and in pbo2 oxidation state of pb is plus 4 clear but there are the certain species in which friction fractional oxidation states is there okay oxidation state may be in friction as in o2 plus clear and o2 minus where it is plus half and minus half respectively we can say in this o2 plus the oxidation number of each oxygen atom is plus half and in o2 minus the oxidation number of each oxygen atom is minus half now let us see one more example nh4no3 ammonium nitrate if you find out the average oxidation number of nitrogen as per the rule then this will come plus one okay we can see in this case two atoms of nitrogen so if oxidation number of each nitrogen atom is x so we can say 2x plus four atom of hydrogen and each hydrogen atom has oxidation number of one plus there is three atom of oxygen and each have oxidation number minus 2 and this is equal to 0 now if you find out the value of x this is 2x this is plus 4 this is minus 6 is equal to 0 or we can say this is 2x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1 but it is made up of ammonium ion and nitrate ion so in case of ammonium ion the oxidation number of nitrogen okay this will come minus 3 and in case of NO3 minus nitrate ion, the oxidation number or oxidation state of nitrogen 
it's plus 5. If we take the average of these two, that is minus 3 plus 5 divided by 2, this will come plus 1. Okay. So, we can say this ammonium nitrate is the compound in which both nitrogen atom have different oxidation state. But average of these two nitro uh, average of the oxidation state of these two nitrogen atom is plus 1. Now, let us see one question. Why do the following reactions proceed differently? PB3O4 plus 8 HCl gives 3 PBCl2 plus Cl2 plus 4 H2O and PB3O4 plus HNO3 it will give PBNO3 twice plus PBO2 plus 2H2O. Okay. In one case we are taking HCl, in another case we are taking HNO3 but products are different. In this with the HCl we are getting Cl2. Okay. And with this PB3, with HNO3, we are getting PBO2. How can we explain? Now, PB3O4 is a mixed oxide. And this is composed of two unit of PBO and one unit of PBO2. Now, in PBO2, lead is present in plus four oxidation state. Okay. Whereas, the stable oxidation state of lead in PBO is plus two. PBO2 thus can act as an oxidizing agent. Therefore, can oxidize Cl minus ion of HCl into chlorine. And PBO is a basic oxide. Therefore, the reaction PB3O4 plus 8 HCl gives 3 PBCl2 plus Cl2 plus 4 H2O can be split into two reactions, namely first reaction is an acid base reaction it is pbo is basic in nature it react with this hcl acid and this will convert into pbcl2 plus 2h2 and another one is the redox reaction in which this pbo2 this act as an oxidizing agent okay and this will convert when react with the hcl this will convert into pbcl2 plus cl2 and water but with hno3 since HNO3 itself is an oxidizing agent, therefore, so reaction between PBO2 and HNO3 will not occur because PBO2 is also oxidizing agent and HNO3 is also oxidizing agent. However, the acid base reaction occurs between PBO and HNO3. So, the PBO plus 4 HNO3 gives PBNO3 twice plus 2H2. It is the passive nature of PBO2 against HNO3 that makes the reaction different from the one that follows with HCl. Okay, thank you.